Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Halo Infinite video. This time it's on week 16 of the multiplayer. Now this week we don't have any event going on, but next week I was kind of hearing rumors that Tactical Ops will be here. So we will see if 343 announces that later on this week or maybe they might wait till Monday next week. Moving on, we got the news. We still don't have the roadmap. The roadmap was told that it would come to us in January. Um, this was back in November. That did not happen. Early February, they updated us saying that it was still being worked on and it would be to us once it's finalized. And we're now into March and it still has not been revealed. So hopefully that will be coming up soon. Now we have the multiplayer update. Now the update came out last Thursday. It smoothed out the first person animations, improved audio mix, improved cheat detection and anti-cheat improvements, improvements to quick resume, and stability for the Xbox One user. So a little bit there for everyone, but I don't think it really changed the game too much for me. Now we're moving on to items. The OPI and Xbox promotional coding was released last Thursday. Now there were some issues when it first launched at 10 a.m. Um, it was along with the update. There were people complaining that they weren't able to access it. But within a couple hours, it was tweeted out that it was fixed. They worked out whatever kink there was. So now you should officially be able to get that if you actually redeemed it on Halo Waypoint. If you look on screen right now, I have the Optimal Polis initiated. And this is the color you would get. Let me go ahead and... Uh, hide the UI so you can go and take a look at this. So overall, I mean, this thing does look really nice. Uh, it's not really uh, my color, so I'm not really going to be running around with it. But I do see a lot of people do like this. This is what they're running around with right now. And the promotion is still going on right now. I did put out a video with more details and links and everything there. So go ahead and check that on my uh, video history. I'll probably put it in the description of this video. So you go ahead and click on it there. In last week's video, I did tell everyone to go ahead and purchase the Team Envy Team Kit if it was something you were going to want because it was going to be going away soon. And guess what? It did go away. So on Thursday with that update, the Optic Gaming Team Kit is now out. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Go ahead and move over to the shop and uh, we'll go down here. So as you see, you can no longer get Team Envy, but you can get Optic Gaming. And overall, I want to say this is probably my uh, next favorite coding. I might be purchasing this in the future, but along with this coming out, Toshi at 343 did say that more team kits are coming in the season too, and that they'll be looking at how to, I guess, they're looking for a better solution so it won't be so restrictive. So I'm thinking that you might be able to get the coding and put it on your actual armor you don't have to use their specific setup you know if you want you might be able to add cat ears things like that because we did have e united who tweeted out that you know they would like on the team armors to have the cat ears and you know what it's one of those things that it's not hurting anybody go ahead and let people run around with that my opinion is more options are good so let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the shop this week so first we got tank rank and as you see, you get the, I mean, that color overall, it looks cool, but at the same time, it looks minimal. It's not like, wow, it's not, I guess, I don't know. I, I don't want to say flashy because I don't want flashy, but at the same time, I don't want something so subtle. It doesn't really look like very much of a change. Then with that, you get some basic things. You get this tank rank charm, tank beats everything. And then you get, obviously, the nameplate, Kabuto the Kabuto vehicle emblem, the Kabuto armor emblem, the Kabuto weapon emblem. So overall, not a bad price overall because I'd say the coding is probably two to three bucks. This charm would be the other dollar and then you just get these emblems and nameplate because that's just basic right there. But let's move on to what's in uh, the bundle today. So these things are returning. I believe I've seen these before. So it's three items. You first got the Bulldog, then you got this uh, Cloven Sea Foam look. Uh, not a bad look, but once again, not that great. And then a stance. Room Sweeper stance, you're holding on to the shotgun there. Looks uh, good, but 
I think I have better stances, so no need to buy this. Then moving on to Flash Fajord. Don't know what that means, but uh, basically you get some yellow pants. So it looks like, I don't know, it looks like construction colors to me. The yellow pants, so you're seeing the blue top. Again, nothing great. Along with that, you get some vehicle coatings. And again, looks uh, minimalistic. I'll go ahead and keep on with uh, what I currently have. I have the Rockstar Energy one. That's what I'm currently driving around with. But this is what I would like. But I'm not about to pay 10 bucks just to get this front end. I think that this would be really cool. If you know, if they put it up for four bucks individually, I would pick this up. Then we got some weapon coatings. So that was the AR, we got the BR, we got the Commando, we got the Sidekick, and we got a Razorback coating. We got the Rocket Hog coating, and that's it in this pack. And we're gonna move on to the last one, which this one is one that they already had. It used to cost 20 bucks, it's down to uh, 10 bucks. So if you did not get it the first time around, but you did want it, but you just didn't want to put out the 20 bucks, here's your chance. It's on sale for 10 bucks. They say sale, but basically what it is is they need to put sale on there because uh, there's going to be a lot of people upset that they pay 20 bucks for this and feel they should get 10 bucks credit. You know what? You bought it. You didn't resist. And, you know, hey, you got to run around since it came out with uh, these items. Everything goes down in price. You know the way it works. It's like video games. Start off at 60 or 70 bucks, and then all of a sudden, Black Friday comes around and they're 25. So we got the color here. Overall, I like it. I wish that it just was a cleaner color. If it was a cleaner white, I probably would get it. Then we got the helmet. For those of you who like that helmet. Looks like it has a nose right there. That's cool. Kind of looks like a face overall with the pointy chin then we got the helmet attachment we got the visor we got the chest plate we got the shoulder which let me see what that looks like on mine so oh this is all for the mark b just so you know mark 5b doesn't really show very much for me the other shoulder the knee pads and then the stance so again Stance overall looks cool, but just not the best one that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep the one that I have. No need to buy this bundle in at least the state that it's at. If they go ahead and separate these things, I might consider purchasing it. So the last but not least section that I'm going to be talking about is the actual ultimate for the week. What do you get? And what you get is the driving offensively vehicle emblem. So nothing great. Um, I already got this emblem. I can't remember if it was for, oh, it was for the weapons. So I got the weapon emblem of the same thing. It's just basic. Like I said, I always go and complete these things anyways because I put in that much time in Halo that I'll end up getting this. But it's one of those that unless you really like it and you're really going to use it, there's no need to grind away doing these specific uh, challenges in order to get it. Because overall this week, it's pretty weak. So that does it. This wraps up the video. Hopefully it was pretty quick. It kind of got you all the info that you needed. There is not a lot going on this week. I have not heard of anything going on between now and next week. So hopefully we get some news. Hopefully we end up getting that roadmap that we've been waiting for. But I'll catch you next week. Until then, Assassinator out.